Hi everyone, so today we're going to have another lesson and the lesson is going to be this one. So if I just change my screen. Okay, so it's the same format that we had um, the other day. We're going to have um, some reading first and then some questions about the reading. Um, looking at parts of a sentence, synonyms and meanings, pronunciation of words, um, spelling test and then a dictation. So let's get started. Right, so I'm going to read out um, this piece of text for you. And what I want you to do, like last time, is focus on the rhythm of the sentences, not just on the pronunciation of the words, but on the actual rhythm. Okay, so the cat sat on a big mat. He was fat. The boy and the girl fed the fat cat. The fat cat fell asleep on the mat. The boy and girl went to a pond. They saw a fat frog. The frog sat on a log. Then the frog jumped onto a rock. Then it jumped into the pond. Okay. So we have a lot of what we call CVC words um, in this text. And basically a CVC word is a consonant, vowel and consonant word. So for example, cat is a consonant, then you've got the A which is a vowel and then you've got the T which is another consonant. So it's a CVC word. Um, sat is also a CVC word. We have got um, S which is your consonant and then we've got another vowel which is the A and then another consonant which is the T. So that's another CVC word. A different CVC word would be here where we have big. So we have B which is the consonant, then we have I which is the vowel and then G which is a consonant. So any word, three letter word that has a vowel in the middle is a CVC word. Okay, so there are lots of CVC words in this text, which actually makes it easy to um, read the words that are on the text. So what we're going to do now is, I'm going to read the text again, but this time I'm going to um, highlight the CVC words in this text so that um, you get familiar with the spelling of the words and how easy it is to spell um, CVC words. So, the cat sat on a big mat. There are four CVC words in that sentence. So, you've got mat as well. He was fat. So, fat, again, is a CVC word. The boy and the girl fed the fat cat. So, boy is a CVC word. It's got the vowel in the middle. Fed, another CVC word fat and cat. Then we have the fat cat fell asleep on the mat. We've already covered the CVC words there. The boy and the girl went to a pond. They saw a fat frog. So again saw is a CVC word. S with a vowel in the middle and then your W. The frog sat on a log. Log again is another CVC word. Then the frog jumped onto a rock. Then it jumped into the pond. Okay, so that's the text there. Let's now move on to the questions. Okay, so here we have the text that we've just read. And the first question says, what did the cat sit on? So if you think back to the text that we just read, we have here the cat sat on a big mat. So the answer to the question would be a big mat. So you'd have to write down the cat sat on a big mat. Use the words that are in the sentence in order to write down what the answer is. So if the question says, what did the cat sit on? Then the cat sat on a big mat. Okay, so you can just take 
that whole sentence from the text. Then we have, who fed the cat? So if you think back to the text that we read, the cat was fed and it was the two children that fed the cat. So we had a boy and a girl. So if we go back to the text, we can see it says the boy and the girl fed the fat cat. So the boy and the girl fed the cat. That would be the answer to the second question. Now we have, where did the boy and girl go? So, we know that they fed the cat and then they went out to see a frog. But where was the frog? So if we go back to the text, we can see that the boy and the girl went to a pond. So there's the answer to the next question. Where did they go? The boy and girl went to a pond. Where did the frog sit on second? Or what did the frog sit on second? So if we have a look, the frog sat on a log, but he did that first. So the answer to the second so the answer to that question would be then the frog jumped onto a rock. So he sat on the rock second because he jumped onto a rock. So he would have been sitting on the rock. So the answer to that question is the frog sat on the rock second. Okay, so then if we have a look at the last question, it says, what did the frog jump into last? Now we can see from the end of the um, text that um, the frog jumped onto the rock and then at the end he jumped into the pond. So what did the frog jump into last? He jumped into the pond. Okay, so that would be the answer to the next question. Okay, I'm just checking something. Let's just see if... Okay. Let's see if anybody else is joining us, not at the moment. Okay, let's move on to... The next slide. All right, so now we're going to have a look at um, the parts of speech and we're going to have a look at um, the parts of a sentence. So we have correct the two mistakes in each sentence. So we have a couple of errors in each of these sentences here. So in the first sentence it says do you liked cats? Do you liked cats? Is that the correct way to write that sentence? Well, clearly we know it's not because we know there are mistakes in these sentences. So there are two mistakes. So the first thing we need to notice is what type of sentence this is. Now it starts with the word do. So do you liked cats? cats. Because it starts with do, we know that this is a um, question. But if we have a look at the end of the sentence, we see that it actually doesn't have a question mark. So that is a punctuation error. So we know that's one of the mistakes here. Do you liked cats should have a question mark at the end. Now, it says here liked, but liked is past tense. So we can't actually use a we can't actually use the verb form um, liked here because it's asking, do you like cats like now? So you can't ask it you can't ask the question in the past tense like that here. So the answer to the the way the question should have been written is do you like cats. 
So this should have the e, the D removed. So it should say, do you like cats? And then a question mark at the end. So let's have a look at the second one. Now we have here, he not like cat. He not like cat. Right. We can see that this is not a question. It's a statement. It's telling you that he does not like cats. Okay. So the full stop at the end is correct. So we know the punctuation is correct. But there has to be two errors in here. So he not like cat. Now, the cat is a noun and it should have um, a the or an a with it because it's in singular form. Here, we didn't have an a or a the because we had a plural. So we didn't need, we could have had the cats, do you like the cats? But then if you say the, you would be specifying the type of cats. But if it was gen cats in general, then you don't need to have a the or an a here. Well, you wouldn't use an a because a means one. But here, we can see that it's not plural because there's no s at the end. So this needs an article. This needs an a or a the. So he not like cat. We can't say he not like cat. He not like the cat or a cat would have to be here. So that's one mistake. There's an article missing. So the other error is we don't say he not like. We need to say he did not like or he does not like. So the word did or does is missing from here. Okay, so he does not like the cat or he does not or he did not like the cat or he does not he did not like a cat. Well, ah doesn't actually fit there because it would be best to put a the. He did not like the cat. Okay, so there's an error here and there's an error here. Let's now have a look at three. He, sorry, did he like cat? Now again, we can see that this is a question because it starts with the word did. Okay, so did he like cat? So again, we can see that the, there's a punctuation error. This needs a question mark at the end because it's a question. So did he like cat? Now, as we saw from here, we needed an article. So again, we need an article here. Did he like the cat? A wouldn't really fit. The would be a better article to use here. So did he like the cat? And then you need a question mark at the end. So let's have a, l whoops, don't want to do that. Oh, I'm removing the wrong thing. Right, let's remove these and let's see what we get. So the answers given here are, do you like cats? There's your question mark. Remove the D. He did not like cats. Oh, you could have had cats. If we don't put, we do, actually, if you don't put an um, article in there, you would have to put an S at the end to show that it's plural. So he did not like cats. You'd have to put an S at the end. But if you didn't put the S at the end and you're talking about one cat, then you'd have to say, he did not like the cat. Okay, so that would be an alternative to correcting that sentence. Um, then the next one, did he like cat? Again, it's a question, so we need a question mark. And then we need to put our article in there of the, did he like the cat? Okay, or alternatively, you could also put an S at the end and say, did he like cats? Okay, then you wouldn't need an article. So if there's no article, 
you can put um you can if there's no article you put an s at the end but if you do put if you don't put the s then you'd need an article okay i've just got a message at the moment let me just see oh hello solomon are you watching the lesson i can't see you on here you're not showing up on the thing can you type can you write something to me <laughs> Don't worry if you can't, I'll just carry on. Okay, so now, let me just move this back. Okay, that goes back there. So let's have a look at the next part. It says, fill in the missing words. So we have four words here that are jumbled up and they need to go into these spaces. Okay, so we need to put the right word in the right space. So, the something sat on a big mat. Which one of these words would fit into this first space? The something sat on a big mat. Well, we know from the text that we read there was a cat. So, we can see here that we have cat. So let me see if I can actually move this cat from here. Yes, I can. Right, so the cat sat on a big mat. So that would be the first word that fits in there. Now let's have a look at the next gap. He was something. He was something. So he was fed, he was fat, he was asleep. Right. We could have actually any one of these. So what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to leave that one and fill in the other two gaps first because any one of these could actually fit in there but there's a possibility that only one of these words will fit in the other two. So let's do the other two first and then come back to this one. The boy and the girl something the fat cat. So what did the boy and the girl do? The boy and the girl in the text we read fed the fat cat. So the only word that would fit here would be fed because the boy and the girl fat the fat cat. Doesn't make sense. The boy and the girl asleep the fat cat. That doesn't make sense. So the only word that can fit is fed. So let's take that word as that is the only one that would fit. Now we have the fat cat fell something on the mat. Well, the cat, the fat cat fell fat wouldn't fit here. That doesn't make sense. So it has to be the fat cat fell asleep. So the fat cat went to sleep on the mat. So fell asleep. Asleep is the word that must fit into this space. So we'll put that there. So now if we go back, the only word left is fat. So if we go back to the sentence back here, he was fat. That now makes sense. So if we move this, it goes there. The cat sat on a big mat he was fat. The boy and the girl fed the fat cat. The fat cat fell asleep on the mat. Okay, so now all that makes sense. Okay, let's get back to this. Um, so we have the words fat, rock, sleep, fed and log. And we have the words that need to match them up, which are stone, plump, gave food to, nap, and tree branch. So let's see if we can match up the word fat to one of these words. So which word in this list means fat? So we have stone. Well, 
I don't know of any synonyms for fat being stone. Plump. Plump is actually another word that means fat. So, fat and plump are the two words that go together. Let's have a look at the next word. Rock. Now, the rock in the story was something that the frog jumped onto. So, we need another word from here that's similar to a rock that you would find outside. So, the closest one here, it's not going to be nap, tree, branch, gave food to, so it has to be stone. So, stone and rock are the two words that are linked together. And then we have sleep. So, we need a word that means sleep on here. So, if we have a look here, we have the word nap. Nap means a small sleep, a short sleep. So, those two words would be linked. Then we have the word fed. Now, when you feed something, then they are being fed. So, the only thing here that could be similar to this is gave food to. Okay, so gave food to is the same as fed. And then we have, finally, the word log. Now, a log comes from a tree. It's part of a tree. It's either the trunk of the tree or it's a branch of a tree and here we can see we've got a tree branch. So, log would go to the tree branch. So, there we have the synonyms for these words here and we could replace these words or we could replace these words with these words if we wanted to in the text to change um, the feel of the text a little bit. Okay, so now that we've done that, I think, let me just, I'm just going to close the screen and then, okay, now I'm going to put it back. Right, we're going to do some pronunciation. Now, as you can see, we have got one, two, three CVC words here. So, those should be straightforward. So, the first word is fat. So, f-a-t, fat. So, you just need to join the three sounds together to create the word. F or f-a-t, fat. Now, here, we have the C and K at the end. Now, the C and the K make a K sound. The, K, the C makes a K sound by itself. The K makes a K sound by itself. But when the C and the K are joined together, they also make a K sound by, by themselves. So, we have here a R, R, O and a K. So, it's rock. So, it's just simply rock, rock. Then the next one, if we look here, we have a s and a l. So, that sl, actually, you can't do that separately. This one is a sl sound because the s and the l are joined together and that makes a blend. So, that's a sl sound. And then we have the two e's in the middle and that makes an e sound. So, we have three sounds here. We've got a sl, an e and a p. So, we've got sl, e, p, sleep. Okay, and then CVC words are simple. It's just the three sounds together. So, we've got a f, e and a d. So, we've got fed, f, e, d, fed. And then the last one is l, O and G. So it's L O G log when you blend those word blend those sounds together. So L O G log. Okay, so we've got fat, rock, sleep, fed, 
and log. Okay, let's close that. Okay, this should be really easy. Spe spelling test time now. Okay, so it's going to be the words that we've just pronounced. So I'm going to say out the words and you have to write them down. Um, okay, so the first word is fat. Fat. It's a CVC word. I will give you a clue. So it only has three letters or three sounds. So fat. The next word is rock. This is not a CVC word, but it acts like a CVC word because there are only three sounds in it. So rock. And the next word we have sleep, sleep. So we have a sleep. And then the next word after that is fed. Another CVC word, fed. Just three sounds. And then finally we have log. Log. Oh, spelling it for you. Log. Okay then. I shall now show you what you should have got. Those should have been the spellings that you got. So you can check the spellings yourself. Okay, right now we're going to go on to the next, oh, I think actually The last part of the lesson, we're going to have a dictation. Now, this is really, really simple because we're going to use some of the words that we've already covered in our spellings, and you're going to write the sentences. Now, you have to put in your own punctuation, so you will have to put in your capital letters and your full stops. Um, as I read them, I will tell you when it's the end of the sentence so you can put the full stops in and the capital letters for the next sentence in just to make it a little bit easier. So when you're ready, the first sentence is The cat sat on a big mat. The cat sat on a big mat. I'll give, I'll give you some time to write that down. The next sentence he was fat. He was fat. The boy and the girl, this is the next sentence, the boy and the girl fed the fat cat. That's a bit longer than the others. The boy and the girl 
fed the fat cat. The boy and the girl fed the fat cat. And then the final sentence is The fat cat fell asleep on the mat. The fat cat fell asleep on the mat. Okay, so if I just read it through one last time. The cat sat on a big mat. He was fat. The boy and the girl fed the fat cat. The fat cat fell asleep on the mat. And if I show you it, there we go. That is what you should have written if you'd written it correctly with the capital letters at the beginning, the full stops at the end. And you should have one, two, three, four sentences. Okay, right. That is the end of the lesson. Um, I know I had people joining me today, but they are not showing up on my screen. So I can't check with anybody to see if you had any difficulties. So those of you who did join in, if you could actually sign in as well so that I can ask, so that I can double check if you understood and then clarify, then I can go over things with you that you didn't understand. It would make it easier because otherwise it just feels like I'm talking to myself. But I can see on here, it shows that there is nobody on, but I know from my phone, because people have been talking to me on my phone, that you are actually watching. So it would make it easier if, if you actually logged in and signed in on here and then put your messages here so that I don't have to check my phone and then back on here as well. Okay, so I'm going to leave that for today. I hope that was helpful and um, hopefully... I'll do another lesson tomorrow. Okay, so bye for now. Bye.